So let's quickly calculate that. If we have a convolution, a one by one image with two padding becomes a five by five image. So if we apply a five by five filter, that will give us exactly one output. So what do we see here? Two times padding is being added to the dimensions when we add padding. And if you want, we lose um, the image size minus one when we do the convolution itself, just by virtue of it that we can't move it to all places. So what that means is instead of a one by one image, we have an image that is 299 in one dimension, 399 bigger in the ax uh, along the two axes. With two padding, we will have an uh, effectively a padded image of 304 by 404. Once we apply the five by five filter, we will be at 300 by 400. Now what you see here is if we have a convolution kernel of uh, of basically n by n and we do n minus 1 over 2 padding, the image stays the same. Now what if we now apply a max pool? We have 300 by 400 divisible by 2 and we have stride 2 and we have no padding here. It's simply both dimensions go down by a factor of 2 and we now have 150 by 200 image. Now, before training, let us really make sure that we understand the data set. You will be building a network yourself very soon. And it's therefore essential that you really understand the properties of the data set. So now visualize the data set, understand its properties, and ask yourself how hard will it be to classify these images. So go get a feeling for the data set.